Officials overseeing the Sununu Youth Services Center in Manchester say staffing shortages have contributed to a myriad of problems at the facility as of late. Police have responded to the facility several times in recent months, including last Friday when Joe Ribsom with DCYF says a situation escalated and there wasn't enough staff on board to handle it. We are in a situation like we found ourselves in lately where you have, you know, too few people and new people coming in they don't really know. You don't really have the right mix to to prevent things like that the way that you need to. The center now mandating overtime from employees and relying on staff from other departments to pick up extra shifts. Ripsom says part of the reason they're having a hard time hiring and retaining staff is because the future of the facility is up in the air. Right now, the facility is slated to close in March, but there's no contingency plan in place. For the folks who work there, that creates an incredible cloud and a lot of ambiguity about their future and their careers. So actually, since this spring, when that decision, when we couldn't reach resolution on that decision, we've lost another third of our workforce. Um, and it really just put us in this terrible spot where we're just scrambling. Lawmakers on the state fiscal committee approved a $300 incentive for employees who pick up additional shifts, something Ribsom hopes will eliminate the need for mandates. And Ribsom says now they're just waiting to hear from the legislature about a confirmed closing date and what's next for them. Live in Concord, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.